Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Windows 7 taskbar and the general theme of Windows back from looking like Windows 7 to looking like Windows Vista, XP, and you could even say I've got it looking a bit like Windows 95. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off, the first thing we're going to do to get back to the normal layout of Windows XP and Windows Vista is right click on the toolbar because right now if you open up an application it's going to be full size uh, here I'll show you so if we go into properties you can see the applications like just this big box and it doesn't say what it is and if I have multiple versions of this application open it would all be in this same uh, little box here which I don't really like that so what we what we're going to do is go into properties and we would select combine when toolbar or taskbar is full. You can do this or never combine. What this will do is it will basically make it so um, it's going to always be the normal way uh, until it's full, but then the never combine will just always make them smaller, I think. So we're going to choose that. And that's the one I like. And then use small icons. Is basically going to make this about half the size, which is all we need because we really don't need the big bulky size down here. It just takes up our screen. So we do that and apply. And as you can see, it's like that. Much better already. Uh, and now to get our desktop toolbar back, we can go into here, go to desktop. And there we've got our desktop toolbar, just like you would have on Vista or XP. And then to get the uh, other toolbar, the quick launch toolbar, it's a little more complicated. You want to go into, uh, I didn't really show you that, but you're going to go to toolbars, then new toolbar, toolbar and then you're going to paste this in. It's basically uh, where the quick launch folder is stored uh, on your computer, so you're going to paste that in and select folder, and there you're going to get quick launch. So we can drag this to the other side like that except it's not actually dragging all the way there why is that not working? ah, hold on a second, sorry about that uh, there we go so we drag it over there and then you can drag this back in and then you're going to want to right click on this and uh, don't show the title and then right click again and don't show text and now what this will have is you can simply drag this across to have however many icons I think I have about that many in usually and then this is all your, all your uh, applications so I usually have like I'm trying to remember what I've got. I mean, I know I have um, Windows Lite Mail in there. I usually have uh, Google Chrome. Uh, what else? Uh, Windows Explorer. You get the point. You can put the different things in that you like. Drag them down here, and they will work. Uh, so there you go. That's that. And there's one more thing which you can do to kind of finish off this which I'd like. So you go into Personalize, so right click on your desktop and click Personalize and now it will come standard either set to whatever theme your uh, computer manufacturer sets it to or Windows 7 as mine is here and then what I did is I came down and selected Windows Classic. This is going to give it a Windows 95 look. Yes, I said Windows 95. That's right. And then you're going to have all this old look. Now, personally, that's how I like to use Windows. It's what makes me think of Windows, so I like that look. And then I um, have this another theme here, which basically puts a background on that I like. So, there you go. But, you know, I'll just do this for now. It's classic. And then you can select your background uh, and make a new theme. Usage just comes with a blue background. So, that is how you get back to... Um, old windows 
toolbar or taskbar from uh, Windows 7. Uh, this may, I don't think it would really apply to Windows 8, but you can always try it there. I'm not too sure if that would work, but yeah, oh, here I have the desktop. You can adjust this to your preference, but one other thing I forgot to mention is you will want to make sure your toolbar is unlocked or your taskbar. Because if it's locked, you won't be able to adjust it. So make sure of that. But yeah, that's really it for now. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.